and welcome to the North Miami Beach Public Library Children's Department Online Storytime. Let's dive right in with our favorite song. I want you to clap and sing with me. Hello, bonjour, buenos dias. Good day, guten tag, konnichiwa. Ciao, shalom, dobre den. Hello to all the children of the world. There's children in different places from all around the world. We speak in many different ways. Though some things might be different, we're children just the same. And we all like to sing and play. Say it with me. Hello, bonjour, buenos dias. Good day, guten tag, konnichiwa. Ciao, shalom, dobre den. Hello to all the children of the world. There's children in the deserts and children in the towns and children who live by the sea. If we could meet each other to run and sing and play, then oh, what friends we all could be. Last time, say with me. Hello, bonjour, buenos dias. Good day, guten tag, konnichiwa. Ciao, shalom, dobre den. Hello to all the children of the world. Good job. Today's stories are all about Bruce. Can you say Bruce with me? Use your deep gravelly bear voice, Bruce. Good job. We're gonna start with Mother Bruce. And you know who's here to help me today? Miss Marcella, she's going to sing a song with us as soon as we finish our book. Are you ready? I want you to say Bruce with me every time. Bruce was a bear who lived all by himself, and he was a grump. He did not like sunny days, and he did not like rain. He did not like cute little animals. Bruce, say it with me, Bruce, only liked one thing, eggs. Good morning, Mrs. Sparrow. He collected them from all over the forest. But Bruce didn't eat eggs raw like other bears. Instead, he cooked them into fancy recipes that he found on the internet. One day, Bruce came across a recipe for hard-boiled goose eggs drizzled with honey and salmon. So he went out to get the ingredients. First, he caught a few salmon. Then, he collected honey from a beehive. He liked to support local businesses. Last, he went to Mrs. Goose's nest to pay her a visit. Are these free-range organic eggs, he asked. At home, Bruce prepared the eggs for hard boiling. But the fire in his stove fizzled out, so he went to get more wood. When Bruce came back, he was met with an unwelcome surprise. Mama, mama, mama! Bruce became the victim of mistaken identity. Bruce wanted hard-boiled eggs, not goslings. He supposed he could settle for buttered goslings on toast, but for some reason he lost his appetite. Bruce scooped up the little geese and stomped back to their nest. I will have to ask Miss Goose about her return policy, he said, only to find that Miss Goose had flown south early, be back in April. Bruce left the goslings there without any way to get back home. But he was followed. Mama, Mama, Bruce was very stern and said things like, go away, and I am not your mother. And also, I liked it better when you were eggs. Bruce could take it no longer and became extra grumpy with them. <gasps> Roar! Can we roar together? Ready? One, two, three. Roar! Good job. It didn't work. Goslings always follow the mother, even if she is a he and even if he is a bear. Mama? Bruce was stuck with them. He tried to make the best of it. It was hard work. Ugh, I don't like this. Annoying baby geese. As the seasons passed, Bruce watched the pesky goslings grow older. Stubborn teenage geese, boring adult geese, 
Then one afternoon, he saw other goose families flying south. Finally, he'd be able to get rid of these geese. He could take them on a long winter trip. Bruce explained migration, but they didn't listen. Bruce needed these geese to leave, so he got creative. Nothing worked. The geese would not leave Bruce. <sighs> Can you sigh with me? <sighs> Good job. So Bruce decided to pack some bags and take his geese into town. They boarded a bus and migrated to Miami. Now every winter, Bruce and his geese head south together. They laze about at the beach in tacky shirts, sipping ice cold lemonade, while Bruce dreams of new recipes. Recipes that don't hatch. Mama? The end. Now we're gonna do a song with Miss Marcella and Mrs. Terry. We're gonna go on a bear hunt, but I need your help. I want you to put your hands on your lap and we're gonna tap and we're gonna do some extra movements. Are you ready? Excellent. Are you ready, Miss Marcella? Of course. And Miss Terry? We are all ready here. All right, yes. ready? One, two, One. three. Uh, we're going on a bear hunt, we're gonna catch a big one, what a lovely day, I'm not scared, we came to a river of grass, there's so much grass, we can't go over it, we can't go under it, we'll have to go through it, swish, 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 we're going on a bear hunt, we're gonna catch a big one, what a beautiful about Bruce. Make sure you remember to say Bruce every time with me. Bruce's big move. Ooh. Bruce was a bear who lived with four geese because he was their mother. And three mice because they wouldn't leave. For such innocent little animals, mice can take up a lot of room. Do you think we can fit a 1950s panel truck in the living room? and make a big mess? <gasps> Bruce's house was crowded, chaotic, and loud. Cannonball! And he did not like it one bit. Bruce wished there was a way to get rid of the pesky rodents, but there wasn't. He did try and try and try. No matter how hard Bruce tried, the mice would not leave. Out! Bruce is right. We should get out and get some fresh air. Let's play frying pan ball. Thanks, Bruce. You're always looking out for us. So Bruce decided to move. Finding a new house for a mother bear and his four geese can be difficult. We're a little behind schedule. Mm. 
But Bruce found the perfect new house eventually. It was in a quiet neighborhood with a lake and meadows nearby to explore and plenty of friendly neighbors for the geese to play with. Hi, I'm Hilda, and these are my 13 sisters. We're gonna be best friends. Bruce did not like friendly neighbors. The best thing about the new house was that there were no mice, so Bruce was happy. But the geese were not. Bruce tried to cheer them up, But nothing worked. Until the moving van arrived. Hi Bruce, where do you want to put this? We love the new house, which room is ours? Mm. Now the geese were happy and the mice were happy. Bruce was not. This calls for a celebration. Let's have a housewarming party. Bruce. This house was once again crowded, chaotic, and loud. I want all of these animals out of my house! Great idea, let's play free table! And Bruce did not like it one bit. But it felt like home. Good night, Bruce, you're a good mom. I'm gonna start charging you rent tomorrow. We love you too. Good job. Let's sing another song about bears. I think she's going on an adventure. Where will we go? The bear went over the mountain. The bear went over the mountain. The bear went over the mountain. To see what she could see. And all, and all that she could see, and all that she could see was the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain was all that she could see. We're going to a river. The bear went across the river. The bear went across the river. The bear went across the river. To see what she could see, and all that she could see, and all that she could see was the other side of the river, the other side of the river, the other side of the river was all that she could see. Now she has friends. The bear went through the forest, the bear went through the forest, the bear went through the forest. To see what she could see, and all that she could see, and all that she could see was the other side of the forest, the other side of the forest, the other side of the forest was all that she could see. Where are we going next? The bear climbed up the big tree, the bear climbed up the big tree, the bear climbed up the big tree see what she could see and all that she could see and all that she could see was the forest river and mountain the forest river and mountain the forest river and mountain was all that she could see was all that she could see good job Let's move on to our last story of Bruce today. Don't forget to say Bruce with me. Let's practice. Bruce's big storm. Good job. Bruce was a bear who did not like neighbors. Neighbors were loud. Honk, honk, vroom. Hi, Bruce, you wanna ride? They were always interrupting. Brownie and pestering. Wanna play frying pan ball? Worse still, Bruce's neighbors lived all around. Hi, neighbor, do you have any robotic laser cutters I could borrow? Ooh. Bruce's neighbors were always coming and going, but at least none of them stayed very long until the day of the storm, the big storm. Soggy Hollow's weather today will have rain that is very wet and wind that is very windy. 
Sorry to bother, but can we please stay here during the storm? Bruce did not want visitors. He wanted to wait out the storm in peace and quiet. But not everyone felt that way. Big storms are less scary when you're together. Let's invite everyone to play games in our pajamas. I love pajama parties, and we don't even have pajamas. As the rain started to fall and the winds got windier, more and more animals began to arrive. Finally, the whole neighborhood was there. Wait, said Ruber, someone's still outside. Everyone went to the window to look. Well, almost everyone. There was a little bunny out in the storm. Someone has to save her, shouted Thistle. I'm on my way, said Nibs as he ran out the door. But the big storm was too much for a little mouse. And in his hurry, Nibs got a little carried away. Ah! Oh look, I can see my house from here. Nibs' rescue mission was not going as planned. I'm here to rescue you, but first I need help down. It's okay, swoosh, this is all part of my plan. They needed a little more help. Bruce, you came to save us. You took my favorite umbrella. Maybe we need a new plan. Everyone had to pitch in, and together they pulled the bunny, the mouse, and the grumpy old bear back to safety, along with the umbrella. It had been quite an adventure. Everyone take one of Bruce's clean towels. Bruce did not like adventures. While the storm raged on outside, Bruce's visitors, cozy and warm, played games to pass the time. Duck, duck, Bruce, you're it! Bruce did not like games. Then one last guest arrived, a great big oak tree, and it didn't knock. Crash! Battle stations, bring me a saw! I'm allergic to acorns, squeak! They were all okay, but the house was not. I think the roof might have a leak in it. Still, everyone found a safe, dry corner to spend the night. Come morning, Bruce's house did not look so great. Hmm. Soon, Bruce's neighbors went back to their own homes, leaving Bruce behind to grumble in the rumble. But not for long. Tap, 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 tap. Now what? All of Soggy Hollow, every neighbor came back to lend a hand, hoof, paw, or wing to help Bruce rebuild. Over time, Bruce's house was put back together even better than before. We call this edition the Rumpus Room. It's for rumping. It became a popular place in Soggy Hollow for all the neighbors to gather and have fun. I have five old maids. You can't have five old maids in poker. I thought we were playing gold fish. Hey, who's been eating all the poker chips? I thought they were crackers. Bruce did not like fun, and he still did not like neighbors. But they sure liked him. You've been elected to be our den mother. The end. Thank you so much for joining us. Today is going to be our last story time that's going to be posted daily. We were so excited to have you every day, but now we're going to take a short break while we get ready for summer programming. This summer is Imagine Your Story, and we're so excited to bring you new content starting June 8th. So next week, there'll only be one story time posted on Mondays. Let's sing a Sabai song together. Goodbye, goodbye, it's time to go. Goodbye, goodbye, I don't want to go. See you later, alligator. Bye, 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 butterfly. We're so excited to have you. Have a great day.